From Demacia Vice to Steel Legion to God King, Garen's got a lot of great skins, but the question is which ones are worth buying and which ones aren't. That's right, Knuckleheads, we are back with another champion skin tier list, this time for Garen, the Might of Demacia. As is always the case for these champion skin ratings, these are about whether or not the skins are worth buying, so they're going to be factoring in not only how the skin looks, the effects and the animations and whatnot, but also the price and just how it fits into Garen's collection overall. My heart and sword, always for Demacia. The first skin up on the list is Desert Trooper Garen. One of his release skins, it was released in April 2010, and it is a 520 RP cost skin. And I gotta say, in terms of both the splash art and the champion model, this has to be one of the ugliest skins that I've ever seen in my entire life. There's nothing unique or special about it. It does have the effect where when you press his W shield, he changes colors, but I don't think it's quite as noticeable or as unique or interesting. Just overall, a very disappointing skin. This might be Garen's worst skin. I'm gonna put it in the Got Gifted tier. Don't spend your RP on this. Even though it's so, so cheap, it's just not worth it. Battle the Infamy! Sanguid Garen was released on April 27th, 2010, along with the release of Garen the Champion. It is, as you would probably expect for a 520 RP skin, kinda underwhelming. Though, it does have one cool feature where if you press Garen's W, the skin exsanguinates and turns from red to regular Garen. I think that's kinda cool, but it's not even really that impressive. It's a 520 skin, I don't think it's like a terrible skin, but it's still going in the Got Gifted tier just because I think there are just so many better skins for Garen and just in general, spending 520 RP on this just isn't worth it, even though it has one cool effect. I will lead the charge. Next up, we have Commando Garen, which was released in September 2010, also a 520 RP skin. And if I said that Desert Trooper Garen was the ugliest skin and splash art that I've ever seen in my life, I'm sorry, I need to walk that back. It's actually Commando Garen. The color of the skin is just this sickly green. The sword just has no character or depth to it. Again, he has the W effect on him, and when he does it, he actually looks pretty good. So if you're using this skin, you might actually want to max W so you can have it up more often. Once again, just everything about this skin is underwhelming and bleh. It's in the Got Gifted tier. Again, it's only 520 RP. Somehow it fails to meet even that low price tag. I will fight as long as I stand! In less than a year, Garen actually got four skins released. Dread Knight Garen came in January 2011. Now this one actually jumped up from the 520 RP price range to 975, so much higher expectations are coming along with the Dread Knight skin, and like yeah, it looks better, it's more detailed and ornate. The W effect looks a lot better than the others, but this is a 975 RP skin. That is highway robbery. This, this skin is easily going in the Got Gifted tier. No way does it justify a 975 RP price. Justice, by law or by sword. Then we got Rugged Garen at 750 RP, so a slight discount from Dread Knight, but still much more expensive than the 520 RP skins that I've already said weren't very good, and Rugged Garen also looks very basic. Like seriously, we've got four Knight skins along with one Commando skin that looks like trash. Like this is your generic hero protagonist character. You really couldn't come up with anything more creative in the first five skins than let's make him a Knight. No, let's make him a Warrior. Let's make him a Commando. Just extremely disappointing. You know where this one's going. It's going in the Got Gifted tier. Show them the strength of Demacia! Luckily for Garen, the skin designers took a couple years off and didn't give him another new skin until February 2013 when Steel Legion Garen dropped for 1350 RP. And yes, I know we're all tired of the futuristic cyberpunk mech type skins, but for Garen, it's at least a change of pace for him. The effects and the animations actually look passable. The champion model looks really good, actually. And I'm happy that they did at least something different with his sword and his abilities than just the generic that we've seen for the last few skins. It is still a 1350 RP skin, so I can't really say it's in the very tippy top tier, but I will say this is a good enough skin I think real means own. For Demacia. But lest we think that Garen skin designers finally figured out how to make him cool, then we got Rogue Admiral Garen, which is basically Desert Troop Garen, slightly upgraded, and more expensive as a result, so it kind of washes out. I can't really put it higher than Desert Trooper Garen, so it's also going in the Got Gifted tier. Fear not, I'm coming. And after years and years of pretty shitty skins, finally in 2017, we got Warring Kingdoms Garen, which dropped for 1350 RP. 
Now yes, it's another generic warrior skin for Garen, but unlike the others, this one actually looks really cool. The Warring Kingdom theme worked really well for him. The sword with the jade uh, blade is really, really cool to look at. And hey, we finally got a skin with a cool recall animation, so that is at least putting it into the buy if it's on sale tier, which is exactly where it's gonna go. I think it's a little underwhelming still, and really my opinion is so high just because all the other Garen skins we've seen other than Steel Legion are pretty trash, but it's a skin that's at least worth buying in my opinion. You stand in the presence of the God King. Kneel. I brace myself as I talk next about God King Garen, which was his next skin released in June 2018 an 820 RP skin. And unlike Darius and Lee Sin, I actually think that they did a very good job with Garen making his abilities and effects look a lot better. Like the skin looks really great. The Q and ultimate effects especially look absolutely incredible. The recall animation also looks gorgeous and the skin design itself very regal and fits Garen very well, even though it is kind of similar in theme, at least not in quality, in theme, to some of the other skins he has. My problem is the same as my problem with the other God King, God Fist skins, the price. For 1820 RP, I want to be wowed. I want to be blown away. This skin does not blow me away. It is a very good skin and Garen looks very good in it and it has a lot of very good animations and effects. But is 1820 RP worth? I say no. You might say yes, but I say no. To me, this is a buy if it's on sale skin, not because it's a bad skin, but because it's a very expensive skin that doesn't measure up to that price point. Be bold. Be just. Then in July 2019, we finally got a new Garen skin that wasn't just generic knight slash warrior in Demacia Vice Garen and oh baby, the scratch and itch I didn't know I had in terms of League of Legends skin. This is such a cool Miami Vice take. It's the Don Johnson, really cool cyberpunk 80s vibe. It's amazing. Garen looks absolutely decked out. The drip is insane. The sunglasses look great. And they did an absolutely fantastic job adapting his abilities and animations to make them in that 80s cyberpunk sort of aesthetic. The musical cues that go along with them, also insane. The animation on the recall, everything on this skin is just so fucking cool. This is easily a must own skin. At 1350 RP, you are getting a hell of a deal. Hey, look! I'm holding the world up! Mecha Kingdom's Garen dropped in January 2020 along with a prestige edition with a reasonable 1350 RP price tag. Now to me this kinda just looks like a Steel Legion Garen that's been upgraded and since there's the same price I have to put it in at least the same tier. The animations, the effects, they're all great even though compared to the Steel Legion skin I feel like this one is a bit clunkier but the animations are much better. As for the prestige edition I really don't think it adds that much it's kinda just a reskin in a different color it doesn't add a lot but I do think the ultimate looks a little cool both the base and the prestige edition really good skin really reasonable price overall i'm putting this in the real means own skin tier no matter your numbers i will not yield and finally we have garen's most recently released skin battle academia garen which was released in march 2021 also at a 1350 rp price point which is very reasonable as far as thematic and animations go i think this is a fine skin for garen nothing really stands out as exceptional but the animations on his abilities are good the recall is great skin looks solid and thematically it works for Garen. It just doesn't stand out too much. However, given the reasonable price point and the fact that it's a decent looking skin, I'm going to put it in the real means own tier. So there you have it, all 12 Garen skins in the tier list going from the skins you absolutely have to buy to the ones that you should probably just wait to see if you get mystery gifted them. Thanks so much for watching. I have other champion skin tier lists like this most recently sin one. So smite the subscribe button so you can keep up to date on the next champion skin tier list and my breakdowns of all the upcoming skins. Catch you later knuckleheads. Peace.